You sure you don't want nothing to drink? But you understand what I'm asking you? Show me what I asked you. Can you write, Israel? Write your name down here. Israel, did you print that or to someone else? He's asking you, can you print? If you can print, print something. All right, take it easy. No one's going to hit you. We just want to know if you can write, if you can answer our questions. You want your book? I think he had a Bible. This? What's this? What's this supposed to mean? Uh, it stood upon 12 oxen, three looking toward the north and three looking toward the west, and three looking toward the south and three looking toward the east. And the sea was set above upon them and all their hinder parts were inward. That's what you wanted us to look at? That don't mean nothing. This is about oxen. That's what you wanted us to read? Hey, a kid is missing named Brian. Do you know who we're talking about? Do you know what Brian is? But you know who we're talking about. Yeah, that's right. Brian's a little boy. Do you know where he is, Israel? When did you see him last? Did you see him today? Yesterday? What, three days ago? You saw him three days ago. Who was he with? What, was he with his mother or his father? One for the mother, two for the father. How about yesterday? His mother or his father? You didn't see him yesterday. Israel, is Brian alive? We want to tell you something, Israel. Before we tell you, we need you to understand something. Both of us understand someone's emotions carrying them away. We see that all the time. And it's not something anyone is angry about or where we disapprove. You see, part of our job is where if someone needs help, if their emotions have carried them away, part of our job is starting that process. Now, just as an example, that being carried away isn't something that we haven't seen before, Detective Sipwitz wants to show you some magazines. These are magazines that in the course of our job we come in contact with. What's in there, we're not unfamiliar with and we understand about. And if someone were to go further than that, where their emotions would carry them away, we understand that too. Look at these, huh? I like young boys. Hmm? just found him dead. Did you do it? Did you do it with your emotions out of control? change your mind so often about how to conduct an investigation? Sir, what you weren't alone in feeling may have been inappropriate in Detective Sifwitz's dealing with a, um, a grieving family member. It can be an asset in talking with a suspect. Let me have that. What is this, Israel, huh? This is Brian's shirt with blood on it. Don't you be making no Google eyes like you don't know what's going on. That's Brian's blood on that shirt, and we found it where you sleep. 
Now, either you start letting us know the truth here, or you're going to have a big problem with me. You understand? Do you understand, Israel? I don't know that we necessarily need to be here, no Steve. It's all right. I need to get a soda. Does anybody else want one? He's dead. Ryan's dead, Israel. All right, Israel. Look, we got to straighten this out. We got to straighten this out. Nobody's saying that you wanted this to happen. So this would be what they call hard cop, soft cop? Yes, you could describe it that way. I kind of think that you really like Brian. You did. But Brian's dead, Israel. He's dead. Somebody killed him, might not have wanted to, but he lost his self-control. He lost his self-control, and just for one minute, maybe, he couldn't control his emotions. Now, is there any way that you can help Brian's mom and dad get some peace of mind over this? Stop wasting time. You treat him decent, he don't give you no cooperation. The decent part's over. Believe me, I've dealt with guys bigger than you, and it's always me that leaves walking. Now, me and Detective Simone are going to give you a few minutes to think about this, and then we're going to come back, and when we do, we're going to ask you some questions that you can nod your head to, yes or no. And I better be satisfied that I'm getting the right kind of nods, or afterwards, you're going to be lucky you can move your head at all. See what you were talking about. Him being an asset. Yes. Uh, Detective Sipwitz is a piece of work. What I said, how I was going to hurt you, don't be afraid about that. You hear me, Israel? You gotta stay. We'll uh, we'll bring you food to eat. There's a lavatory down the hall, and you'll sleep on the cot here. You like the radio? I'll try and get a radio brought up here for you. Do you understand me? We need to keep you here, but I don't believe that you did any harm to that boy. Any feelings on Brian's dad? What do we got, more oxen against the walls? Proud to have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Give me another message. <clears throat> and she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses. And he said, Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forward, slack not thy riding for me. For a minute there, I thought we were onto something with the proud lies and precepts. All right, somebody be up here with your food. Try and get some rest. <clears throat> 